Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Supposed to be hell of a captain. Yeah, he's a golf nut. Any golf balls on here, anything he works with his putter. Junior sailors. No. Well, I'm serious. Kate McGregor, XO. Welcome aboard the Hammersley, sir. It's a pleasure to serve under you. Our navigator, Lieutenant Nicky Catano. Garge. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be working with you again, uh, sir. No, no, pleasure's all mine. You happen to bring your um, golf clubs? What do I ever board without my putter? <laughs> We're not still telling that story, are we? <laughs> It is a privilege to be serving on Hammersley. Now, I know our thoughts and prayers are with Lieutenant Commander Mike Flynn, who's recuperating in hospital. We wish him a speedy recovery. In the meantime, I look forward to meeting each and every one of you personally at some stage later in the day. All right, let's sail. Hammersley, piping party. Charles up to date, Nev? Uh, yes, sir. X, you can take her out. Oh, uh, sir, won't you be driving her out? No, it's your ship. You know her better than I ever will. I'm only here to make sure you don't sink her. Yes, sir. Special sea duty men and cable party close up. Assume damage control state three, condition voyage. I'm going to go and take a look around. Sir? Oh, I'm sure I can labour in your capable hands. Mayday, mayday, this is Sea Lord. Need urgent assistance, mate. Ryan? No, we just lost it halfway through, man. Captain, sir, XO. What is it, X? So we just received a mayday call from Sea Lion. It cut out halfway through. We are half an hour steaming time from their current position, and it looks like we're the only ones in the area, sir. Take it. I'll be right up. Aye, sir. Ro, keep trying to make contact with the vessel and inform Navcom that we're responding to the mayday. Yes, ma'am. Nav, let's start heading toward that position, right. please. Port 10, steer 260. Port 10, steer 260. Anything wrong? No, still nothing since the first call, ma'am. It has to be the ship. It's the only vessel in the area. Any sign of our CO? Spoma said he left the galley. Then try the loud hailer. Sea Lion, this is Australian warship Hammersley responding to your mayday. Over. XO. She's going to try and ram us. X. Pull ahead, both engines. Pull ahead, both engines. Starboard 30. Starboard 30. Brace, brace, brace. Midship steer two seven. What the hell's going on? Sir, he tried to ram. Leave you alone for five minutes, you nearly ram another ship. We, I was trying to avoid it, sir. Right, more luck than good management. Captain has the calm. Buffer, organise a Fadex party. Aye, sir. Now, RO, 
Someone is driving that ship. Get them on the radio. Sir. Nev. Yes, sir. Let's sir, just see if we can get around the other side of that vessel, OK? Yes, sir. Over. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Man, 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 sir! Australian Navy! Sir, what is the nature of your emergency? Are you injured? Oh, man, you heard the mayday. That's right. I'm sorry, we had a bit of a fire below deck. You know, managed to put ourselves. Didn't radio back. OK, who's we? Danny! We got company. Yeah, come up, sir. Listen, you clowns nearly rammed our vessel. Ram you? I'm so sorry, I didn't know there was another boat within Cooey. Pretty hard to miss, hey? We've had some steering problems. Been trying to fix it. Buffer, take a look. You with me. <clears throat> Don't you move. You know you're in breach of safety rules? You are supposed to have someone on watch at all times. Yeah, look, I'm sorry about that. You know, we're just trying to make a living. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter how many fish you catch if you crash your boat and lose the lot, does it? Hey, Buffer? Yeah, seems fine now, X. Must be some intermittent problem. You might want to get it looked at. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Sir. Sir, the uh, steering on the trawler appears to be working and I gave the skipper a warning about posting a watch. Right, didn't search the vessel. Well, uh, no. Buffer went below to check the steering. So, a mayday call cut off mid-message. Ship tries to ram a Navy vessel and you let him off with a warning. Sir, they're Australian citizens on an Australian flag vessel. We have no jurisdiction to search. We have no idea what's on board. Could be drugs, could be ammunition. An old menagerie of smuggled ducks quacking away below decks for all we know. <laughs> I'm sure we would have hurt them, sir. <laughs> what, you, what, you think this is a joke? Do you, X? Hey? Now, what sort of executive officer leads a boarding party onto a suspicious vessel, fixes their steering for them, then comes back again? What, we'd be the roadside service, would we? They're just fishermen, sir. Really? And how come they're hightailing it away as fast as they can? That's a very odd way to catch fish. My faith in UX was clearly misplaced. Sir, it didn't appear they were doing Nav, any... Nav, I want us after that vessel. Plot, of course, that keeps us below the horizon. Yes, sir. Something going on with that trawler. I want to know what. Yes, sir. All right, I'll be in my cabin. Swain has the con. Aye, sir. Good work, everyone. Enter. X. Ah, Vishnu. In Hindi, the lord of obstacles and other minor unexpected hurdles. They say uh, Nelson uh, kept one on his desk at all times for luck. Oh, I wasn't aware of that, sir. Hmm. What can I do for? Sir, I don't believe that we had the authority to search that vessel today. And even if we did, taking me to task like that in front of the entire crew, it undermines my authority. Hmm. 
Mm, point taken. However, it does cut both ways. If you make unilateral decisions without consulting me, that undermines my authority. Hmm? You could have radioed me from the trawler. Might have been able to obtain the permission that we needed, but you didn't give me that chance. Sir, Lieutenant Commander Flynn has always acknowledged my discretion as head of the boarding party. Well, Lieutenant Commander Flynn knows you. Hmm? I don't. The crew don't know me. They need to believe that I can fill his shoes. You do them no favours by questioning me in front of them. They need to have unqualified faith in the chain of command. We owe them that. Yes, sir. We serve them, X. We serve them. And if you're ever going to be a CO, well, you, uh, you need to remember that. Leadership's a lonely job. It does take a certain kind of person. I, I thought you were supposed to be in bed. You sound like my doctors. There's nothing wrong with me. Mike, you just took a dose of shrapnel. Yeah, and they've dug it all out. I'm ready to get back on Hammersley. Do you um, fill in those promotion forms I gave you yet? Funny thing about hospitals, you can never find a pen. There's a pen. And you know, I'm not certain that those nurses didn't clear those papers away. Yeah. There we go. A stamped envelope. Yeah, all right. You've made your point. Have I? Hey, your career, mate. I may have an option outside the Navy. <sighs> right. Ray Walsman's offered me a job, and he's got plenty of impressive vessels. Yeah, I know. I bet he pays better than we do, too. Yeah, and it'll keep me at sea. What is? What, as a glorified chauffeur? Mate, that, look, a desk job just for a while will keep you moving up the ladder. It'll be, it'll be a better command, it'll be bigger ships. There's a bloke who stabbed your charge. And nearly killed the ex. They know who he is? Not yet. The, uh, the feds are having to interview him if he comes out of the coma. Don't worry about him. It's a police matter now. You just concentrate on your career. Oh, man. Uh, stay there. Nev? Mm. Still tracking the trawler, staying right on her to help, but just out of her radar range. Right, is she still moving? Yes, bearing 120. Officer of the watch, look out. There's something in the water. Green 25, distance near. It's a body. Slow ahead, both engines. I'm slow ahead, both engines. Slow ahead, both engines. Good work, Spider. Once you clear, go get changed. Yes, Bob? It's one hell of a bullet wound. He doesn't appear to have been in the water long. Do you think he was thrown out of that prawn trawler? Oh, well, unless he fell from space. So, uh, <clears throat> did you see this man while you are on board? No, sir. He must have been below deck. So that, uh, steering failure, how's that looking now, eh? Well, maybe they were fighting in the wheelhouse. Uh. Or maybe this man was trying to get our attention. He may still have been alive while we are on board, sir. Hmm. All right. We're going after that boat. Right on. Let's get these lines cleared up. Come on through, sir. Morning. Morning. Yes, morning, all. Morning. How are we? Good, sir. Morning, sir. Seaman Webb. Yes, sir. Good job retrieving that body yesterday. Very difficult job. Oh, thank you, sir. All right. Oh! Bloody eggs are off. Sir, let's drop them. Everyone, listen up. All right, everyone. Eggs in the bin. All eggs in the bin. Captain's given an order. The eggs are fine. Sailor, I want every egg on the ship disposed of. Sir, these eggs were fresh from the supply. Able Seaman Brown. Yes, sir. Right. Anyone got an egg? Any eggs? In the bin. All eggs in the bin now. I don't want to see one egg other than in the bin. What do you mean you can't find them? 
Sir, we've been steaming for two hours at full speed. We should have caught them by now. They, they must have changed course when we lost them on the radar. All right, listen up, everyone. You are not lone gunmen. You work as a posse. Which means you don't huddle over your helm or your engines or your radar keeping your thoughts to yourself. You let others know what is about to happen, X. Yes, sir. Uh, the captain is right. We should be working as a team. All right, just wasting fuel to try and go after them now. Nav, set a course for port. Yes, sir. RO, inform the Federal Police that we will be bringing them aboard. Yes, sir. Anything they can tell me about his identity would help. I want to know what those blokes are up to in case we run into them again. I'll keep you informed. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yep. Uh, I know the ship is on a tight turnaround, but I was hoping for permission to check on Lieutenant Commander Flynn. <laughs> Do you like his style a whole lot more since you met me? Oh, of course not, sir. Give him my regards. Thank you. When do they say you can leave? Keen to have me back. Oh, well, these things, they can always be a little tricky in the beginning. That bad? Oh, not really. Lieutenant Commander Freeman, he is uh, very experienced. To get back to your question, mm. no one seems able to tell me when I can go. But I've found something to keep me occupied. That mercenary we captured, he's here. Not in the hospital? He's in a coma. I don't know if he'll ever come out of it. There are mercenaries operating on Australian soil, organising some sort of coup on Samaru. Can you leave it to the feds? This is not your personal mission. After what they did to charge, and you, you bet it's personal. I want to find out what these people are up to. Just be careful, right? You poke spiders, they bite. Uh, excuse me, sir. I know we're not supposed to leave the ship or anything. I'm sensing a but. Sir, so, so my baby's teething and Sally, my wife, she's at home on her own. Yes, well, I know what it's like having a wife and kids wanting me ashore, Swain. I know, sir. We all have the same problems. I understand. Swain, I'm, uh, I'm not married anymore. And I'd save anyone going through that pain if I could. Go. You've got an hour. Sir, thank you, sir. Russell Byrne, he was a captain of the trawler. Oh, so, so who are the men we spoke to? These guys are involved in the manufacture of amphetamines. Oh, yeah, that's them. Oh, on a boat. Well, the feds know of a few cases of manufacturing on boats. I thought you needed a stable environment for that. Uh, apparently only for the actual cook, but you're right. I mean, these chemicals are highly volatile. These two men, the police believe it's likely they killed this character Byrne. We let him get away. IFP HQ have put in a formal request to the Navy to help in the searching for them. Don't be too happy, sir. Won't happen a second time. Okay. Be careful. I'll drive the ship out today, X. Yes, sir. XO, close up special sea duty men and cable party. Yes, sir. Special C duty men and cable party close up. Assume damage control state three condition voyage. Hey, where's Swain? Has anyone seen the Swain? Uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Petty Officer Blake, bridge at the rush. XO, special C duty men and cable party closed up. Uh, sir, specials are closed up with the exception of the Swain. Right, so, uh, where's he? Um, I don't know, sir. Ex Swain's a ship stopper. You're in charge of personnel. How can you not know where he is? 
Did anyone know Swain had left the ship? No, no ma'am. Now, X, uh, <clears throat> do I need to remind you that knowing the whereabouts of your crew is a pretty basic part of your job? No, sir. What? It seems, in fact, that I do. Is that not the Swain taking unauthorised leave on shore? Yes, it is. I will speak with him. That'd be good. That'd be very good. Much hook to the left, sir. Swain? What? Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry I was late. I. Uh, late? How about the fact that you left the ship without asking permission? You're right. No, wait, I did have permission, ma'am. From Lieutenant Commander Freeman, the captain. Yes. Oh, that's better. Hey. It's a good shot. Excuse me, sir. Hmm? The Swain said that you personally gave him permission to leave the ship. Why didn't you tell me that? The XA's job is to know the whereabouts of every person on the ship at all times. So this was a test? That's right. To see if there was any backup, and there wasn't. There was no backup. You know, it's in your uh, best interest to impress me. Rumour has it that uh, Lieutenant Commander Flynn will not be returning to Hammersley. In that case, I'm your new CO. Permanently. So did the police get anything out of that bloke across the corridor? They don't tell us about that stuff, I'm afraid. How come there's no guard on him? Tolan, he's just come out of a coma. Can't go to the toilet by himself, let alone do a run. <coughs> Need a hand? Oh. There you go. Thank you. You okay? Oh. In the coma, they tell me. What happened to you? You rest up, eh? Save your strength for your visitors. Visitors? Everyone has visitors, don't they? Sure. Yeah. Does your family know you're here? I could call someone for you, if you like. No, it's OK. I'm sure they know. Can I grab some painkillers, please? That kind of day? I'm sorry if I contributed to it, man. It's fine. Um, I'm sorry I didn't even ask you what was so important you needed to take off. Oh, it's just, um, just Sally, man. Oh. Is she okay? Yeah, just trying to keep it that way. Yeah. It's weird that paracetamol's missing. We've ever run out? We had a whole carton when we left port. Sir. Thanks. Everything up to speed? Uh, yes, sir. There is uh, one minor thing. Hmm? The paracetamol has gone missing from the supply cupboard. Missing? Well, someone has taken it. But the swain has made a note of it. Judge, come up here, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. This is the captain speaking. Now, this is directed to the person who stole the paracetamol from the supply cupboard. You have five minutes to return this item to me personally. I will be expecting you on the bridge. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. It's not likely that anyone will respond to that sort of public shaming, is it? Right, so your crew are cowards as well as thieves, are they? That, sir, they are not. Well, we shall just see then, shan't we? We shall just jolly well see. Just see for myself. Hey, Mr. Jesus. 
single tablet or is it a packet? It's a packet. All right, is that straight? That's beat, isn't it? Yes. Good. I think you're right. Good work, Aro. Tremendous, tremendous work. Five minutes. It appears no one is coming forward. It appears not, sir. <sighs> Unfortunately, no one has returned the stolen item to the bridge. All personnel not on watch, must up, folks all. This is the Navy. We don't accept liars or cheats or cowards. We expect people to stand forward. This stops when the person who took the paracetamol steps forward. All right then, senior sailors. Join the juniors on the deck. The crew is a team, down from the lowliest sailor right through to the X. If there is a thief on board, it reflects poorly on every single one of us. Would there be anyone willing to step forward? All right then, officers. Sir. Yes, UX. Down on the deck. Fish rots from the head. Sir, I took it. Oh. Oh. I took the drugs. Of all people. Sorry, sir. Why? I couldn't find a swan, so I just went to the main store and grabbed the whole box. Then the alarm went up and I couldn't put them back. And suddenly the whole thing was just way out of control. I'm deeply disappointed you didn't step forward earlier. You know, people like you, Charge, you are the backbone of, of a ship like this. Your experience, your character. I mean, those young men and women look up to you. They look up to you. Yes, sir. Well, I thought you were a friend. Of course, yeah. hey? of course I'm a friend. I thought you'd be sir. able to talk to me about anything. I Yep. Mm. Well, I won't, um... I won't be pressing any formal charges. Thank you, sir. things is completely inappropriate. Well, he had a point. Someone on the ship is a thief. And we still don't know who that person is. Maybe Did not. But the captain is the ship. You question him. You question everything. Hey there. Thought you might like a read. Might as well catch up on what you missed out on while you were out of it. I didn't catch your name. Sorry. Mike. Uh, Mike Flynn. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Hey, listen. Uh, can I take you up on your offer? They haven't given me phone. You don't have mobile, do you? There you go. Uh, I'll give you some privacy. It's just my sister. Hey, sis, it's me. I'm in the hospital. In Cairns. Hey, 
A visit would be good. Great. Look forward to seeing you then. Thanks. Thought I might get something from the canteen. You want something? Uh, no, thanks. Watch it spotted the drug boat. Excellent. Right, Nav. Set a course for 12 degrees, 22 south, 115 east. Charge. How fast can we go? 10, steer 240. As fast as she'll let us. Full noise, 27 knots should get us there. All right. I want you to go through there. Course 240. So we can't. Those waters haven't been properly surveyed. Yes, well, that's why we have a navigator. If it was just about steering, we would have hired a taxi driver. Sir, I think what the nav is trying to point out, that to steer a safe course through there could cost you more time. Does every single order have to be spelled out? Those men killed their skipper while you were on board. I want them. Go through there. Make it happen. Sir, I insist on recording my formal yeah. protest in the ship log. I do too, sir. Fine, fine. Do it. Do it fast and then steer the boat as I tell you. Sir, we will follow procedure with additional lookouts and our best man on the helm. X, you can hang over the front of the boat with your head in the water for all I care, as long as Hammersley gets moving. Stab at 10, steer 125. You just steer straight ahead. Hmm? That was an yes. obstacle. Can't follow along, then you don't have no place sir? on the bridge. Sir, no I need place. to speak to you now, sir, in private. What? Leave the bridge in charge of these incompetents? You've got to be joking. Now, look, I give an order. I want it to be followed. Without question. If anyone doesn't like it, they can leave. Right now, I will drive the ship myself. Clear? Good. I've got a radar contact. Ah, good, good, good. It's on the same course as the last position we received from Coast Watch. What? Well, do you think that's a drug boat? Well, it's a good chance it's the right size, right place. Excellent work. All right, let's get after it. 
All right, look, let's, um, let's put the events of the day behind us. This is your chance to prove to me exactly what you're all capable of. Right. I was going to buy flowers, but I thought this would be more appropriate. Chateau Margot. Come on, Mike. Take the job. Work for me. I know you'll miss the Navy, but trust me, the lifestyle will more than compensate. You'll get to sail to places you'd never dream of going with the Navy. Mediterranean, Caribbean, the Antarctic. The Antarctic? We wanted to go. I just needed someone to give me the excuse, and you're that man. Who stole your boat? Really? Zero three zero. Prepare for warning fire. Vessel on my port side. This is Australian warship. Stop or heave to, or we will open fire upon you. No response on the radio. Aim the target. Range two hundred yards, sir. Ready for warning fire, sir. Buffer engage. Typhoon engage. She's completely ignoring us, sir. Here for disabling fire. You can't do that, sir. Well, she's clearly not going to stop. Sir, you need ministerial approval for direct fire. The feds have told us this boat is highly volatile. If you fire on her, the whole boat could explode. Their risk, not ours. We have given all the appropriate warnings. Webb, prepare for disabling fire. Spider, do not touch that trigger. I am the CO. Webb, it is your duty to follow Spider, my Spider, do not touch the trigger. I am the CO. Spider, do not touch that trigger. Buffer, take it from the bridge. X. I can't do that, sir. Right, you can't do that. Is there anyone here who can follow an order? Is there one of you? Would there be one person here who could follow an order? Would it be you? Would it be you? Would it be you? Charge. Aye, sir. You take her from the bridge. and I'm taking over the ship. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right, little missy? <laughs> Swain E.T., remove him from the bridge. Don't you do Remove don't. him from the bridge. Don't come anywhere near me! Don't! You! You! It's mutiny. It's mutiny. No, ever set foot on a naval ship again. You, 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 or you. You'll be caught, Marshal. It's a mutant, mutant. Let's remove him from the bridge, then. Yes. I have the ship. XO has the ship. It's... Sir. Sir. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, 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 no. We'll be in my cabin. Exo has the, uh, has the ship. 
No, 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 no. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Prepare to board the trawler. Obstacles. Yeah. And other minor unexpected hurdles. It's a shame. He was a bloody great captain. Tumor. Terrible way to end a career. And you know why most of the time he was right and I was wrong? But you made the right call in the end. Mm. I'll take that. Thanks. So how did the mercenary die? They think he was poisoned. I reckon that call he made was to have his people get him out. Or maybe someone just didn't want him talking to the feds. Straight after he made the call, someone rang back. I don't know who, they didn't say anything. Next thing, Ray Walsman turns up. How did Walsman even know I was in hospital? Someone with a lot of money and connections are funding these mercenaries. And walsman has been somewhere in the picture ever since we met him, and that was in the Semaru Islands. If Walsman is behind all of this, then why would he want to hire you? You'd be there, you'd know everything that was going on. I think his intention was to get me out of the way. After what's just happened, I can't trust him anymore. One thing's for sure, there's no way I can take that job. I guess I'm a Navy man after all. Good to have you back, boss. Good to be back, Buffer. Good to have you back, sir. Nav, 